So today I'm really, really excited to have the founder of Digital Onion with us today. I uh, grew up in software development, started as a project manager, worked my way up the chain, and uh, I've been in the business for over a dozen years, so I've done it the hard way, so all the project managers who are listening, they know that I've been through what they've been through. And when I got there, the, the staff was around four people, I reduced it to two, and then within nine months built it to 45. Wow. And we delivered on a $7 million worth of service revenue. One of the biggest projects was over $2.5 million, and I did it the old hard way. I did it through blood, sweat, and tears. We created a quality product, quality team, met all, all our success, success criteria like time, scope, and cost. But at the cost of my personal health and, and probably some of our team members. But if you're contractually bound to that software development triangle of time, scope, and cost, what do you think gives? Discount. Quality, uh -huh. team satisfaction, client right. satisfaction. Right. right. So that those are some of the things that g gave, and we tried to lock it down and just say, hey, you know what? We'll sacrifice ourselves. We'll work 16 hours a day for 36 weeks, and that's what we did. Mm. And we pulled off a great project. Yeah. But at the end, I came out uh, with much poorer health. Yeah. I was stressed, I, I was drinking, it was just not good. I decided that, you know what, I still love what I do and the industry in which I do it, but there's got to be a better way. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're completely shifting the paradigm, redefining what project management means. Mm -hmm. And we use project management just so others know what we're talking about, right. but really we don't manage, we lead. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we got the project and we completed the project in 5,500 man hours instead of 10,000. Right, mm -hmm. so uh, approximately a forty-five percent reduction in budget. Yeah, right, and we did it in eleven weeks. Wow! So, from a business perspective, that's your tangible output. Mm -hmm. We did it in half the cost in one third the time. How do I know we we created transformation? Because when you walked into the where the team was working, you heard laughter. You, mm. you heard music. People were actually talking to each other. One discipline from information architecture was talking to a front-end developer who was talking to a back-end developer who was talking to a visual designer. They were actually sitting around the same table and working with music playing and laughter. We had a daily meeting at 10 a.m. every mm -hmm. day. And our theory is that if you can't make your time and place commitments, mm -hmm. how can we count on you to, to deliver a critical piece of the application, a design or a, a user flow or what have you? And so we tracked uh, all the on times um, during one sprint or, or one period of time. And we came out to 211 opportunities to be on time. And there were about eight people on the team. So out of those 211 opportunities, and based on what you know of business and mm -hmm. the way we are, how many times do you think people were late? We had five lates. Nice. Five. Yeah. That is extraordinary. Yeah. That that truly is a transformation in the way people conduct themselves in in, in the American business environment, right? That is unheard of. Mm. So how do I know what you know if the systems I implement are working? People are showing up on time. And when they don't, they clean it up. It's no big deal. I've been fortunate enough to um, conduct workshops or mm -hmm. meetings or just be in a group, uh, a room full of group of people, and, and either providing some content or or uh, leading them through a process. And at the end, this has hap now happened twice. The attendees stood up and applauded. And I said, "All right, here's our goal. L let's just see if we can accomplish this goal in the, the six hours." Right. So I went through a whole planning session for a, a new product they were to de develop. And at the end, yeah. I said, thank you very much for your time. I think we're good. We've, we've met our goal. And the, the people in the room yeah, stood up. Hours, right? Yeah, nice. of course. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, they stood up and applauded. Yeah. I had uh, the vice president of engineering of this division at Motorola say, dude, I've been coding for 20 years and I like coding. This is way, way more fun than coding. 